We who attend these vigils are often portrayed as being Daphne Kawana Galitsa's followers, cult followers. According to the Trolls' narrative, we are Middle Agers, scared from the happenings of the 80s. Apparently, running commentary is our Bible. Apparently, Daphne is our prophet, and in order to be here today, we have to have, have known her. But I was lucky enough to be born after the dark after the dark and violent years of the 70s and 80s. I never knew Daphne personally, and I was not an ardent follower of her, her journals. Despite being an, inexplic an inexplicable anomaly to a flawless narrative, driven by, by government trolls, I am here. I confess that I am inexperienced. I am still, I am still reading for my first degree, and like, and, like any, and like other university students, I like to have fun. Perhaps too much fun for the good of, for the good of my own liver. But on days like today, in times like these, I recognize that I have duties as a, as a citizen that must, that must come before my confessed love for Jack Daniels and club music. The reasons I am here are now self-evident. Firstly, I cherish the values which Daphne fought for and was murdered for. They are not new concepts. These are the concepts of liberty and democracy. Secondly, the trolls also have announced that we are here because we cannot stomach the fact that we are a minority. No, we are here because we cannot and will not stomach injustice. This is a simple message and a powerful one. Yet it is still obfuscated with partisanship and pervaded in such a way that it, is, that it is a challenge to simply communicate it. In cases like this, its, it's, communi it's communication is best affected in one way. Our presence here tonight, 11 months later, in 2013, at 14 years of age, I was sentient enough to witness a powerful force that pledged values which were unf unfamiliar to me. These were written in so many billboards that by the end of the election, I learned them by heart. Joseph Muscat made sure we knew who he, that made sure that we knew he came to grant Malta meritocracy. He convinced Malta that he will wage war on tribalism. He preached respect for differing opinions. He also promised a better environment. To a young teenager, this was promising. In class, we were warned about the toxicity of politics, but not of Joseph Muscat. Where politics was toxic, he was clean, a new hope. Barely days after he had been elected, the discriminatory promotion started. The, po the positions of trust were handed out as if they were pastizis. We learned of Saimitsi and then, and then Panama, the passports and the brothels. Politics didn't stop, stop becoming toxic. It became criminal. Then it became dangerous to speak. And then, suddenly, we stopped talking about why corruption was bad at for our pockets. When Daphne Caruana Galizzi was murdered, we realized that corruption was bad for our rights. But first, it had to claim a mother, a wife, an aunt, a daughter, a friend. I did not know Daphne Caruana Galizia. The trolls make her up how to be our prophet. As I've said before, I was not a follower of her writing, but I find myself agreeing with those trolls. She really hit the nail on the head when it came to her predictions. I have had the pleasure of speaking here tonight, not because I knew her, nor because I despised the incumbent party out of what it did in the 80s. I am here because I know why justice remains to be served for her assassination. Our rights, our fundamental human rights, the blueprints of our democracy and our dignity are at stake. Thank you. Bravo.